you want to do, fams? Welcome to the hot hut. Or maybe not the hot hut. The uh, a full glass of hot water will not freeze in under 20 minutes. Hut. Can you believe that after a mere two weeks of teetering on the edge of hypothermic death, I realized I could make a little fortress of solitude out of bed sheets and staples, and point my garage heater directly at my skull. And you, and I swear, guys, you can barely tell you're in a negative one degree garage. Now everything from my face down is frozen. Here, check this out. If you keep your face directly in this beam of heat, it feels remarkably similar to being alive. Anyways, against all odds, all of them, working against me to not make this bet or this good boy become a reality, it became a reality. And guys, everything sucks, but this crossbow is really cool. But Eli, why don't you just work in the new garage in the new house? I don't have the new house yet, okay? But Eli, why don't you just wait until you have the garage and then make the crossbow? Because I don't know if I'm going to have enough money to do all this bull badonk that it takes to buy a house. You learn real quick that every Everything about buying a house costs at least a thousand dollars a piece. Oh, you need some insurance? Well, that probably costs about a thousand dollars. Who's gonna find the insurance though? Probably a guy who you gotta pay a thousand dollars. Oh, we found the insurance. Cool. Now I'll give you a thousand dollars. Oh, it costs a thousand dollars to give him a thousand dollars. Everything is so much money. <laughs> but anyways, check out this crossbow. Look, people always tell me, Eli, don't use paracord on crossbows. Paracord stretches. Well, look, man, I'm not trying to find a friend who hates yoga as much as me. I don't care about stretching. I'm just trying to shoot a little bolt every now and then. I can't draw it back because it's too strong. Uh, but if I like wedge it up against something, I can draw it back. Wouldn't it be great if I had like a stirrup or something? Wouldn't it be great if this crossbow was literally just another foot and a half longer? It's definitely not long enough. Do I sound stressed out? I'm not. I, I'm really. Well, I probably shouldn't be drawing it back anyways. This rubber is uh, it feels a bit like black licorice right now. It's very hard. It'll probably snap if I try to draw it back without heating it up first. I'll take this moment to show you the stuff that it shoots. I actually made it so that it can shoot both bolts and arrows. For the arrows, I have those cheap shot broadheads, those uh, polymer broadheads that are technically plastic, but they're freaking unbelievably hard and sharp. Man, this stuff, th that would kill. Literally, and it hurts to just poke yourself. Let me show you this trigger mechanism real quick. All right, now you guys know me. I would never try to trick you into thinking that a screwdriver was a bowstring, but just for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this. But I promise, I'm not trying to trick you guys, okay? So this would simulate the bowstring. You draw it back, and when you pull it back here, it pushes back on that button, and it locks it so you can't, the string won't go forward. It's stuck. Poor string, am I right? Uh, but once the string is locked behind there you can now actually pre-knock the arrow because I made the uh, string catch right there like a space and it gets locked in there so that when you fire it boink, it disengages and like shoots the arrow out but then if you want to fire a bolt you draw the string back and you bring the bolt in there you bump it up against there I guess you could even put like a rubber band around here to hold the bolt down and you pull the trigger and it sucks the bolt up no it fires the bolt. Look at how gross my fingers have become. Do you see my cuticles? When you spend like a, an advanced amount of time in a uh, negative degree weather, you start to get these like really gross looking fingers. This is just not the place that I want to be right now. You know what though? I'm gonna take a little bit of time and heat up this rubber, draw this back, and I'm gonna show you me shooting just the bolt. We'll save the arrow for the full build video. I'm making this video because I know it's gonna be a minute before the full build is edited, and I don't, and I really don't want you guys thinking that this crossbow went the way of the other crossbow and that it's just never gonna be finished. And it's yeah, it's finished. It's really cool. I'm sorry. If, I, if this does not sound like I'm excited about it, it's my brain has frostbite. My mouth is hard. My ah, my lips are hard. Do you ever get those like uncontrollable shivers? That's what my conscience feels like right now. It's a little extra concerning because my body's not even shivering anymore. I stopped shivering about a weekend. Well, here's me shooting the crossbow. My favorite part is that nothing creaks. My least favorite part is that there's no safety because, uh, you know, why would there be? Can you see it? Can you see the crossbow? I'm shooting at that uh, cardboard and styrofoam target over there. See, it shoots. Ah, my fingers. Ah. 
Velocity. I'm sure the Velocity would be a lot more impressive if the rubber wasn't frozen by the time I actually got to shoot it. And also, no doubt, this, this I mean, it's huge. There's no way the extra weight on the limbs isn't slowing it down too. Mechanically though, I'm unbelievably fully satisfied with this. Just the, just the simple fact that it works. Like the trigger mechanism, how you just pull the string back and it just locks perfectly and it fires perfectly. I'm literally so happy about that. And I was a little ticked off in the beginning of the video, but this actually, I think, has been one of my most successful builds to date. I do think I'd be able to add some more rubber onto this, get it to shoot just that much harder. And I might be able to figure out the, the stirrup problem. I just, I don't want to put anything on the front. This thing is just huge enough already. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to have the full build edited within the next few days. This admittedly is probably like one of the worst things that I possibly could have been building right now. All these tiny little pieces that you can't wear gloves while you're uh, working on them. But like I said, against all odds, I was able to complete it. I do think it came out pretty good. Also, the uh, prototype is extra cute. Shoots nerf darts. How, how cool is that? But yeah, guys, I hope the video was something. Oh, as a last ditch effort to raise up another thousand dollars for whatever stupid crap is about to come up. I came out with some new hoodie designs. We got phantom white here. We have a uh, black version. I came out with a shirt that I think really effectively encapsulates just the, the frustration and the anger and the rage that I felt over the last couple of weeks. And you know, there's some days that you just gotta let the world know. Like, hey man, heck off. I'm not somebody you should be hecking with right now. Anyways, I hope this does something to stoke you guys for the build. I'm gonna be working feverishly on that. Oh man, a fever sounds so nice right now. But yeah, that's about all I got for today. So thank you all very much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.